Hey, what up y'all? Mr. Cruz here, the latest teacher you never had. Uh, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Hootsuite, uh, which is an app and a website. Um, I'm gonna be showing you the, the website or the desktop version on how I use it to automate my post um, and to essentially schedule my content to post over a week in advance. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys here right now. Let's get at it. All right, so uh, what I have here is Hootsuite. So this is the website. And again, this is both an app and a website. So you can download the app. Um, I'll maybe show you that in another video later on uh, because the app does look a lot different than the website. To me personally, I think the website is better. Like the user interface is, is better to understand uh, than it is for, uh, for the app. But I still use the app a whole lot too. Um, so here you have what's called your different streams. Um, so I have Twitter, Instagram, and my Facebook fan page. Um, and then you can scroll down and see what you have posted for what days. So for example, this one's going out tomorrow at five. This one's going out the day after, same time. This one's going out the day after and so on and so forth. So I have these scheduled out for about a week in advance. Um, I usually schedule my content to post at least a week in advance, sometimes a little bit earlier. Um, but actually what we're gonna be working on today is a post that's gonna be going out two weeks from now. Um, so let's get at it. Uh, so what I'm gonna start at is right here under new post. So. Uh, it might be a little confusing because on the app, it's not called new post, it's called con uh, co compose. Um, so just know that you, you're gonna hit compose if you're scheduling a new post. So we're gonna hit new post. And here's where I select whichever social medias that I have already signed up for. So when you log into a Hootsuite account, when you create one, it's gonna ask for your credentials for you know whatever social media you're going to uh, attach to that, to your Hootsuite account. Um, so I'm actually going to select this one right here because this one has already favored it because you see it has uh, the Instagram and it says plus two more. That means it's Instagram plus in uh, Twitter and Facebook. And it's just kind of highlighted because it's more recently used. And most of the times when I post things, I'm posting it to all three of them and I'm posting the same thing to all three, uh, which isn't necessarily a good practice. But like I'm I'm learning. That's something I just learned recently is like I don't need to post the same thing to every single social media Uh website that I got. Um, so for my text, I usually like to start with my media. So I would open, not open media, uh, I would upload or drag my files. So I'm going to go into my Google Drive, my ready content, and this is going to be a beat video for Nameless King. Now I'm going to go with my the one that says IG. That's because it is 59 seconds long. So it'll it's the appropriate length for Instagram. So I'm going to just use Instagram and I'm going to post that one um, the criteria is for Instagram and I'm going to use it to post for all of them. So I type in whatever I got to type in. So I'm going to type in a new beat. Yo, yo, where my text at? All right, there it goes. New beat nameless. Yo, why are we tweaking though? Why are we tweaking? My bad. Do I got something else running? Oh, I got reason running. All right, let's close that. Let's close that John. Now we don't need to save it. Bam. All right. Sorry about that. Nameless King. And then we are going to hit link in bio. Three dots. That's just how I do it. Of course, you don't have to do things the way I do it. You do whatever works for you. And then um, this is where I would put my hashtag. So over here in Evernote, I've got hashtags for whatever type of post that I'm po putting up. So let's go for my music one, highlight them all, copy and paste. So here's the beautiful thing is up here at the top, it'll let you know which um, are essentially like how long your post is or how many characters you have left. So for Instagram, obviously they got a bunch. For Twitter, I've got 30 more characters. And then for Facebook, again, I also have a lot. So this is good. Most of the times when I'm posting things, especially if I post it to all three of my social medias at the same time, I usually end up having to cut back on my characters due to Twitter's limitation. But in this case, I'm good. I'm good. I'm Gucci. All right, so we'll keep it going. So I got that. And then bam, I have my video down here. Now, if I hit edit video details, I can either upload a new thumbnail if I wanted to, or I can change the thumbnail that's already there by clicking this one. And it kind of gives you a preset amount uh, between one and five. So it'll go to like random parts in the video. So um, I think the, the one that started out with was, oh, that one's good. 
And once I do that, I am done. So I can uh, I can also throw paid promotions behind this, but I'm not going to do that this time. Boom, boom, boom. And let's say we are done. Now, the only thing is um, when you're posting to when you're posting on Hootsuite, you can't do the thing that you do on Instagram where you post several different uh, pictures or videos and then you kind of just you know swipe so that you can see the next thing. You can't do that via Hootsuite, at least to my knowledge, you can't. Um, you can't yet. And so here it'll show you, it'll give you a little preview of what your post will look like on each social media platform. So this is what it'll look like on Twitter and what it'll look like on Facebook. Now this is, again, it's a preview, obviously like when you go to, when it goes to post and when you see it on um, Facebook or whatever, it won't be cut off like this. It'll actually show you the entire, um, the entire aspect, like it'll fix the aspect ratio so that they can see the entire thing. Uh, and if I wanted to, I could click play and then it'll play a little preview of it. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna schedule for later because I'm not posting this today, I'm gonna post it later. Right, I can save it and whatever. Um, so, so it automatically picked it for November 7th. What I want to do is I want to post this on the 13th. All right, and then I pick my time. 5 p.m. is usually when I post all of my stuff. And then I hit schedule. So that little three in parentheses will let me know that, hey, your thing is going, you're, you're posting to three different, you're posting content to three different sites. So I can also double check because if I scroll all the way down, Oh, wait, no, oh, that's the ninth. That is the seventh. Wait, did it not update yet? Let me see. Say refresh. There it goes. Yeah. All right. So I just had to refresh it. And then I should see November 13th at 5 p.m. Now, if I needed to, I can go back into each individual one of these and edit or change something if I needed to. Uh, you can also tag people in it via Hootsuite. Um, I would do that individually on each one of the streams or each under each one of the platforms here that I can. Um, just because if I type in somebody's name, it'll only allow me to tag it uh, through one platform. So I can't. So let me see if I can do that right now real quick. So... So let's say I wanted to tag my dude said, boom, see, so if I put the ad symbol and then bam, I can tag him. Now, the thing is what I mean by earlier is that if I were to do this with all of them, um, it would only show me Twitter and then, oh, well, it would show me Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. But then what it would look like when I posted it is it would look like all of my posts would say said, said, said. Right. Um, that's that's essentially what my post would look like, because I had to pa I had to tag e each different platform um, its own time, like at one time, not at one time, but at each platform individual. So that's kind of whack. Um, so to have to do that. But again, look, this right here, just taking what, seven minutes, streamline my process. So now I've got something to post a week from now. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what's up over a week from now. So hopefully that's something that you guys can use. It's definitely been beneficial for me and I've loved being able to use it. Uh, it's streamlined my process and just helps to not have to worry. It's one less thing that I have to worry about every single day. All right. Um, anyways, let me know. There's a bunch of different apps that that do this, that can automate your social media posts. Hootsuite is just the one that I use because it's the one I've been using the longest. Um, so if there's a different one, you know, feel free to share it in the comments below. Uh, and if you do use one, let me know which one you use. All right. Anyways, make sure you like, comment and sub. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz out. <laughs>